Hey, what's up, man? Hey, it's good to see you. Um, ready to get started? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Whoa, <laughs> what are those things? For your cooking chef. Uh, we're baking today. Yeah, bear claws. Okay, um, change of plan. We're gonna do scones instead today. Copy. All right. Scones? Yeah, I'm afraid so. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Caro, the show where we get to pretend like we know what we're doing in the kitchen this time. And by the way, you have a lovely kitchen. Thank you very much. It's actually not mine. Whose kitchen is it? I have no idea. Well, we should probably hurry up because I would not like to see the business end of those dirty old knives. Mm. Ah! Ho ho! Tetanacy. Mm -hmm. My name is Brian S. Lewis, and I play the undead cleric, Caro, from Journey Quest. This... Hunger does not rule me. And my name is Christian Doyle, and I used to play the part of Perf. Today we're going to be making Perf's Conjure Milk Raspberry Scones. Conjure Milk is not just Perf's most useful spell to date, it's also there to describe the delicious raspberry cream filling inside the scones. Why raspberry, you ask? Because they're sweet, mm. just like Perf. Right. Huh. It also kind of reminds me of that time you were brutally murdered. <laughs> reminds me of that time that you're about to be brutally murdered. This recipe, like many of our recipes, was put together by Catherine Barson Eastus. Also known as the gluttonous geek. That's right. Hi, Catherine. All the ingredients will be scrolling across your screen. We're gonna start by whisking all our dry ingredients into a big mixing bowl. Let's do some video magic. Whisk all the scones dry ingredients together in one of the mixing bowls. Then add the cold, unsalted butter and the berries in with the pastry cutter using rocking motions. Or, if you prefer, smooth jazz motions. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Uh, the recipe calls for raspberries, though, and these are cherries. Yeah, ah, uh, raspberries weren't in season this year, so. <laughs> They're literally in season right now. Plus, the recipe calls for dried raspberries. Shut up, I couldn't find any. These raspberries look delicious. Don't they, though? Pour or conjure the milk and stir into the mixture with a fork into a shaggy dough. If your friend insists on using their sharp bear claw knuckles to assist, humor them to avoid being mauled and then give them a treat to distract them while you chill the dough in the refrigerator. Place all the filling ingredients into the other mixing bowl and whip with the hand or the hand mixer until consistent and fluffy. This can be messy, so be careful not to get any filling on yourself. But your baking partner is fair game. Take out the scone dough and dust the top of your surface with flour. Then, roll it into a one half inch thick rectangle. Cut that rectangle into six square pieces. I said square piece, ah, oh, well, that'll work. Spoon one and one half tablespoons of filling onto each dough portion, then carefully fold over it into a triangle and pinch gently to seal the edges. Place the formed scones onto a freezer paper lined baking sheet. After you're done putting the filling into the scones, they go in the freezer for at least one hour. I have to freeze for one hour? Right so! Okay. When ready to bake, preheat the oven to 445 degrees Fahrenheit. Take the paper and the scones off the baking sheet and spray the sheet with cooking spray. Make sure you use a spray with a high smoke point. Place the scones back on the sheet and space them at least one inch apart from each other. Brush each scone with a beaten egg using a pastry brush. Dust the top with more sugar and then bake them for 15 minutes. Be sure to grin like an idiot at your scones. They won't mind. Thanks so much for joining us. This has been Perf's Conjure Milk 
cherry scones. Raspberry. Are we still living that lie? We are. This has been Perf's Contra Milk Raspberry, raspberry Scones. scones.